Hey team, and welcome to today's presentation. The purpose of this presentation is to talk to you about how you can use the Chrome Web Store in order to install the extension by the name of BibIt Now. On the right hand side, you'll notice my little picture appears right there, and I have signed in to Google Chrome. That's one important detail that is necessary if you want to install a Chrome extension. In order to make sure that you're signed in, go ahead and click on the circle that you see over here on your Chrome browser, and it may ask you to sign in. There are a few other boxes that may appear asking if you want to sync, S-Y-N-C, sync the information. That would be lovely. Go ahead and sync the information. A few other questions might pop up if you want to name that profile, etc. And then from that point forward, after you have signed in, you should be able to install Chrome extensions. And Mrs. Clover has a lot of Chrome extensions. So if you don't see a Chrome extension installed after it's been installed, click the little puzzle piece right here and then choose the little pin so that it stays up there. And if you want it to be in a certain location, you can drag it so that it lives in just the right spot so you can find it and use it easily. Over on the left-hand side of the screen, after you go to the Chrome Web Store, you literally just Google it, Chrome Web Store, and it should be the very first item at the top of your search query. Click over here on the left in the search box, and B-I-B-I-T-N-O-W, you're just going to squish it all together like it's one word, bib it now, like you're adding something to your bibliography right now. Press enter on your keyboard one time and you will notice the bib it now extension appear. Usually there's a blue box that says install, but because I've already installed it, you don't see that blue button appear. I have clicked on it one time and then over here on the right hand side, it's asking if I want to remove it from Chrome. No, I don't want to remove it from Chrome. I actually like having it here. When you install it down on the bottom left corner in your download tray, you will notice a small small item appear. Give it less than one minute and then the extension will automatically install on your behalf for you. Let me show you what it looks like to actually use this resource. I'm going to click right up here on previous research that I've already done. I'm going to scoot over here to the letter B that represents the Bibit Now extension. And then on the le left hand side there's a drop down box asking you what type of citation you want. Oftentimes your teachers will probably either choose APA or MLA if it's important to them. Once you have selected MLA or APA, you will notice how that citation appears in this space. Normally it's illuminated blue if you click off of it and it's not illuminated anymore. Then you can come up here to where it says copy citation text. Right here it lets you know that it's been copied. It shows you that the text has been copied. I'm going to scoot over to my existing presentation. I'm going to scoot over down into the resources area. I'm going to click one time. I'm going to use control V for victory, control V on my keyboard, and you'll notice that the information populates or appears in that area. Let's do that one more time. I'm going to come over here to the red lipped batfish. I'm going to click right here where it shows the letter B for bib it now, the extension. I'll click there one time. I'm going to click the copy citation one time. I'm going to scoot over into my presentation. I'm going to scoot down two lines, control V for victory, and then you'll notice that information appears. I'm not going to promise you that it will always be correct but you're going to have most of the key details that you need in order to be successful. On that actual website, if you notice that the author appears and the author did not appear on your citation, it's always a good idea for you to double check that information because you're responsible for your grade. It's not appropriate to say, well, I used the extension and it didn't work. No, friends, it's your job to double check the extension is designed to save you some time, but it's still your job to review and make sure that the information that you have acquired is accurate. All right, friends, thanks so much for paying attention to today's video and have a great day.